Hey there, and today I'd like to talk about the Pilot Custom 74. And you may be expecting me to say that this is a great pen, and that it's uh, an almost flawless entry pen, the entry-level pen to get you into the gold nip scene, perhaps, but that is not going to happen. I have tried very, very hard to like this pen, and I just I can't bring myself to do it. I've Out of all my pens, I've cleaned this one the most. I've only owned it for a little more than a year, and I've cleaned it more than pens I've owned for like four years. And that's just because I've tried to like this pen. I tried to change inks, I tried to tune it. Everything I could have done, I have tried, besides sending it to a nipmeister, and I do not like it. So I cannot, in fairness, call this a review because I am as biased as humanly possible when it comes to this pen. And another thing I must say is, this is an extra fine nib. <laughs> which is just stupid. I don't know. I mean, I did buy this a year ago and it was an impulse purchase, so maybe I wasn't thinking straight, but this has an extra fine nib, which none of you should get if you're buying a Japanese pen. Um, so maybe take this with a grain of salt, I guess, but this is just my view. So why don't we get started? As always, uh, I'm just going to talk about the pen itself before I give my views on it, which are mostly negative and i hope you will understand so here is the pen i have this in this blue color which is um i think that's the most common color when it comes to this pen uh here we have the top finial here which is just gray translucent gray plastic this is the same on all of these custom 74s then you can see we have the pilot clip with the ball at the end and it's attached onto a ring at the top finial. And you have the cap here, which has a sleeve inside, which is slightly, I think it's translucent gray. I will talk about the sleeve later as well. Um, then you have the cap band, which just says Custom 74, one star, Pilot Japan. Well, made in Japan. And uh, one thing I must mention, if you can see, there's a slight plastic ring between well, the metal cap rings, that's actually a slightly different color to the pen body itself. Small detail, but I thought I'd mention it. Then you have the pen body, which is translucent, allowing you to see that Con 70 converter, which is something I also have to talk about. None of these are good things, by the way. And then on the end finial here, you have another little ring and the same translucent gray plastic marking the end of the pen then you untwist the cap and you can see here we have the pilot nib this is a 14 carat and like i said this is an extra fine which is just stupid i don't know why i bought this um you can see there's barely any tipping on that nib so maybe you can anticipate my views on this pen already and then you have the grip section, another thing I'm going to have to talk about. This is in the same translucent gray color as the finials. And the threads, and the ring, and you can untwist the body to reveal the converter, which is a simple push converter. It just fits inside, no twisting or anything like that. And there is a metal sleeve that prevents the converter from rattling about. So let's talk about my opinion on this pen, which are all going to be pretty negative. So um, uh, forgive me. First of all is the elephant in the room, that nib. I hate it. It's There's no tipping. It's sharp as a needle. And you feel that on the page because it tears through the page. Like I mean it, it tears the page apart. And it's pretty feedbacky. It's not the worst I've ever used, but it's pretty feedbacky. It's getting there. Uh, there is genuine effort required to move this pen along the page, so it is not smooth either. And some people might say, you know, that's just your particular nib is faulty, and you should send it off to a nibmeister. Well, let's assume that's true for a second. This pen is targeted at beginners who just, you know, who just got into fountain pens maybe a few months ago, and this is going to be their first gold nib fountain pen. All right, imagine that, and they're very excited for it, they're looking forward to it, they want to feel how a gold nib feels like. And then they get this pen, and it comes faulty like this. Do you really expect 
a beginner to send this pen to a nibmeister or to be able to tune it themselves. I don't think that's fair. And even disregarding all that, why are we still giving pen companies, you know, breathing room when it comes to quality control issues? I mean, this is such a, a common issue when it comes to fountain pens. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. Um, and also, uh, there is no fault with this nib. It's just like this. The nib, I mean, the tines are perfectly aligned. I'm not sure if you can see it. The tines are aligned. And um, the tines are not too far apart. And, I mean, there's no tipping, but that's... I can't control that, can I? I, I can't weld a piece of rhodium onto the tip. I can't do that. I don't think most people can. So... That's the one thing. Also, regarding the nib, I feel like it's a bit small for the pen body. Now, this is now extremely personal, and I would totally understand if you disagree with me, but I feel that it's just slightly disproportional um, to the pen itself. And I just want to balance views out here a little. Um, I have seen many, many reviews of this pen, and most of them are positive. Most of them say this is a great writing nib, and I'm sure it is. I'm sure if you bought a medium nib, a broad nib, or even a fine nib, that it'll be enjoyable. People say this is a smooth nib. It's not the smoothest, but it is smooth. And, and they say this is a bouncy nib, right? It has a bit of flex. Neither of those things are present on this nib, on the extra fine neither of them are present and um, it, it, it's as stiff as the m800 but without that glassy feel of the m800 so there's that and the second thing is um ink residue like ink gets trapped between the cap and the cap liner ink gets trapped in this section here when you clean it there you can see a bit of uh, staining inside there's some ink in there and ink gets trapped in the converter now i would not see this as an issue if you could just disassemble the pen easily because then you could clean it out but you cannot disassemble the cap and you cannot disassemble well you can disassemble the converter but you can see where the ink is gathered in. You cannot get in there, right? And you can see no matter how much you clean this section, which is disassemblable, I don't know if that's a word, but if you clean this section and the metal rod here goes back inside, you push it back out, you can see there it is again. No matter how hard you clean it, push it back in, it comes out inky. So... I don't like it. And the converter, I mean, many people have talked about how this converter is a horrible one and that it doesn't fill up completely, blah, blah, blah. I have not had those issues. I just can't stand the fact that it cannot be cleaned. The section two, like, I understand this is just how fountain pens are. You know, all fountain pens have ink in the section. I mean, that's just how a fountain pen works, right? That's the feed that the ink is getting into. That's fine. But this is a translucent barrel so you can see all that it's not as bad when you have it fully filled because you know it's uniform the ink inside is uniform right now it's like splashes of ink i don't like that i mean that's personal again but personally i hate that and uh you know you can't take this apart you cannot disassemble this section even though there is you know there's threads here uh i don't know what they're for because you can't disassemble them Stephen Brown has made a video disassembling this pen, and he couldn't disassemble that part. And I've seen one video on the entirety of YouTube of someone who did do it, and it was by accident. He just gave this a good twist every time he cleaned the pen, and somehow he took it apart. So I don't think it was even designed to be able to do that. Okay, and the last thing is that the pen leaks. My pen leaks from this grip section between the grip and the pen body there is a slight little like crevice it leaks from there when you put your finger on it and it leaks from the nib when you tap the nib when it's filled with ink i'll show you this later in the writing sample it leaks from the nib housing as well and the very last negative thing i have to say is i don't like the grip section um it's the threads are kind of sharp actually and when I hold it, you know, my, my, my finger is like right here. And I really feel that catching on my finger. And I just cannot write with this pen for long sessions. It really hurts my fingers. 
And uh, that's all the negative things I have to say. Let's get into some of the positives. Now, this pen is 176 bucks on Goulet pens. And that's not too expensive for a gold nib, for a, 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 sorry, a pen with a gold nib, especially a new one. I think if you got this pen with a medium nib, I, I, I could perfectly see how this could be a great beginner's gold nib pen. I could see this pen writing perfectly. I could see this pen being very much loved. It's just unfortunate that I got an extra fine. The build quality is pretty decent too. Like it's nothing crazy. You don't, you won't get the feeling that this is a multi hundred dollar pen, but it is good enough to justify its price tag. And aesthetically, I, this is now a bit con controversial. Like I like how it looks. It looks nice. Maybe it looks a bit industrious in this blue plastic early 2000s looking Mac OS kind of color. But like if you got the other colors which are available, which there are some classy ones, I, I think this could be a, a great pen. And, you know, all the problems I've mentioned with, you know, staining on the cap liner and staining in the section just by the opaque version of this pen just buy the one that's full black, solid black, then none of these problems would exist, except for the nib and the con 70. Those two things you cannot change with the color of the pen. And I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, I hope, you know, people who really like this pen, I hope you're not offended. I'm sure this is a great pen. Mine just sucks. <laughs> so time for the writing sample. Okay, so I've tuned the nib a little, and I've widened the tines ever so slightly as to get a better representation of how this pen writes. First of all, though, I want to show you guys the um, ink leakage issue. If you, yeah, if you tap this pen, you can see there's this ink coming out of the nib, and it's not a lot, but it gets really annoying if you're doing schoolwork or something important. And your paper looks like this. So, anyhow, here is the Pilot Custom 74 with an extra fine. This is a 14 carat nib. And the paper is Clairefontaine. So, this is about as good as you can get. Well, not really, but this is pretty good quality paper. And still, this nib is having some feedback and as you can see on the upper strokes there is significantly less ink flow than on the down strokes and this is not just a problem with my nib i've watched youtube videos and this is a common issue on this pen so if you don't like that like me um don't get this pen i guess and the ink here we have lamy Black, which admittedly is a drier ink, so if we're going to have flow issues, I guess you can blame it on this. So here is the sentence. And it's, I mean, it doesn't skip. I don't think this pen skips. Uh, in terms of wetness, it's not that wet. It's adequate. And I mean, it's an extra fine nib, so what are you expecting? It's fine in terms of wetness, and as I said, it doesn't really skip. It just, I mean, you can hear that, right? Kind of? Can you hear that? It just, it, it's just horrible. It, it just writes horribly. A lot of feedback on the page, especially if you're doing fast writing. Um, and in terms of flex, well, there is not a lot. I mean, it's very, very minimal. It doesn't flex, let's be honest. And it's definitely not bouncy either. So I think maybe it's just unfortunate that I bought the extra fine nib. Um, I'm selling this pen. <laughs> and hopefully in the future, I will buy another one in medium. And I will enjoy it. And if I do, you bet I'm making a video about it.